in putting, it certainly makes sense to have that putter work straight back on the target line and then again straight through. Makes sense, but it doesn't work. Here's the problem. If I move the putter straight down the target line, what's gonna happen is the putter face is gonna look over to the right. So now I've got a path that's going in one direction and a face that's going in a different direction. So to further complicate that, if I'm gonna move the putter straight down the, the target line, now I don't want it to look out to the right, so now I actually take my arms and curl this way underneath. Now I come there, now as I come back into the ball, if I don't undo that with my arms, now the face is gonna look left. So in order to move the putter straight back and straight through and have the face square to the path at all times, my forearms would have to work counterclockwise in the backswing and then counterclockwise in the forward swing. So we've taken what mechanically should be a very simple motion and made it, I think, very complex. The putter's gonna go in the air in the backswing. Because it goes in the air, it's gonna work a little bit to the inside. The golfer's not moving the putter to the inside. It just happens because the putter goes in the air. So if we're looking at that down the line view, my putter is just touching that alignment rod, but when I go to the top of the swing, there's maybe a quarter of an inch. It's not a huge arc, but by allowing that putter to arc at impact, because the face and the path are always lined up together, at impact, we're gonna have that putter nice and square at impact by allowing that putter to arc both in the backswing and the forward swing. So don't make it arc, but let it.